Hey guys, Appalachian Empire here today with another gun review. And today we're going back to our roots again with another airsoft gun. Today we have the Tavor 21 from uh, Ubrex. Uh, if you type in IWI, which is what you see on the box here, Tavor 21, you're gonna get the real firearm, which we wish we had, but we don't. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the box. All right, in the box, you're gonna get the standard paperwork, which, you know, it's paperwork. Uh, you got some warranty stuff in there. And most importantly, you got the gun, the Tavor 21. Very nice gun. Uh, you're also going to get a charger, battery, and a 360 round high cap magazine. <clears throat> Alright, let's pull the gun out and uh, have a look at it. Alright guys, we got it out of the box. Got a nicer background here for you. Alright, uh, just to go over the uh, specs of the gun. Uh, it is an electric AEG. comes with a um, 8.4 volt battery, but it will take a 9 point is it 9.6 volt? 9.6, yes. yeah. Has a metal barrel, uh, 300 round high cap magazine. Uh, it's got the nice uh, uh, plastic exterior, but it's the nice sturdy ABS plastic. It's got semi-automatic and full auto. Let's see this right here. You can switch it very easily. Um, <clears throat> it's got a full metal gearbox, type two gearbox. So it's, it's fairly well put together. Uh, the FPS is around 375, so it is definitely an indoor gun and we we did use this gun outside today and we can attest that is an indoor gun all right just a few more things i'd like to mention uh if you pull back the charging handle uh you, it locks back so you can get in at your hop up which is really nice and while we're down here if you notice you'll see the mag release right there and uh oh by the way if you push that bottom button like travis just did it will release uh the fake bolt but anyways we'll go ahead all right so, back to what I was talking about. If you notice, the mag release is right beside your hand. And several times today, I kept feeling something hit me in the leg. And I was like, what the heck is that? It was my mag. <laughs> All right. Anyways. So, on top here, you see that nice Picatinny rail for optics. And uh, it's got the two flip-up sights, which are really nice. Um, all around, uh, the, the gun is very well... Uh, Put together uh, it is a little heavy in the back um, yeah, I mean it is a bullpup so I mean pretty much all, most of your gun is located in the back so it is very um, back heavy all right guys um, anything you'd like to add Travis when I was using this gun today I noticed the mag problem for one thing like Chris was saying but I also noticed where I'm so used to shooting AR platforms is that this peep sight is essentially a little bit harder to aim with but other than that I feel like it's By the way, let's look down the sights. We didn't do that. Yeah. But the peep sight on it's a lot different than most of your AEGs. If you're using AR platforms anyways. Yeah. So. Um, I kind of like them, but I guess, I mean, it's, that just shows you how certain, like some, for example, Travis, he's more used to AR, which I am too, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's just something different. But anyways. All right, guys. Enough talking about it. Um, let's shoot it. All right, guys. Um, so the way you put the battery in the gun, uh, it's in the front of the gun there. Show them the button on the other side. Uh, you depress it, and you pop her out, and there's the battery. Nice and exposed for you. That is not the battery that uh, comes with the gun. That is a uh, battery we bought, se bought, blah, 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 bought separate. It's a 9.6 volt. Uh, the one you get is an 8.4 volt, and it's sort of square. Kind of fits better because the, it's the way the gun designed is designed. But it doesn't really matter. Um, we got a nice little piece of paper. Well, we had a piece of paper down there. It is. It's a 25 uh, meter zero target. All right. Um, anyways, so we, with our little rangefinder, have ranged it at 25 yards from where the camera's at. So Travis is a little bit ahead of us. We'll so about 24 or 25. roughly 25 yards. <laughs> All right. So, oh, by the way. Um, that, that is a Lancer Tactical Mag in the bottom there, and it's just to show you that you can use uh, M4 Max. Uh, I would not recommend using Lancer Tactical's M4 Max because it does not work well with the gun. But uh, pretty much any other uh, AR Mag that we've tried anyways will work with it. Anyways, on to shooting. All right. Semi-automatic. There it is if I can see the target. He's sort of hitting that piece of paper. All right, now, fully automatic. Oh, 
All right, pretty good, pretty good. All right, uh, let's go down range and uh, see so what we can see and uh, wrap up. <laughs> Travis commenting on the nice leaf foliage. That's one good thing about playing airsoft in the fall. You can hear the enemy coming. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, and the target was kind of wrapped around the tree, but Travis got some pretty good little groupings, especially on the full auto. Um, again, this is a close quarters gun. I would not I would not recommend this for field at all. And we used it in a small uh, wooded area today, and pretty much, we'll see the problem was we had some field guns out there too with some like 400 FPS. So anyways... Mm -hmm getting distracted uh, <laughs> um, anyways so very nice gun for close quarters uh, very well built and it's something different than the um, AR platform um, anything you'd like to add to not at all all right guys hey uh, again this has been the IWI Tavor 21 from Unimix hey if you have any questions again leave them below in the comments hey please subscribe and like this video hey have a nice day